Hello, I thought I would share another church lady recipe with you. So tonight I'm going to make Diane's lasagna, which I think has such good flavors. For Diane's lasagna, you're going to need a pound of ground beef, a pound of ground Italian sausage, two eggs, some pepper, they call for green, but I had red frozen, that's what I'm going with, a quarter cup of sugar, a small onion diced up, a large cottage cheese, small curd, some Italian seasoning. I don't have any on hand, so I just use some basil, oregano, and garlic salt. And you want a teaspoon of this. One and a half pounds of mozzarella, and one cup of parmesan, and of course, lasagna noodles. And your spaghetti sauce. I'm using Hunt's Italian sausage. So first thing I'm going to do is cook my lasagna and brown my meat. Now as I'm browning my meat, I want to tell you that I'm going to also add the peppers and the onions to that. And in another bowl, I'm going to combine the eggs with the cottage cheese. And in another spot, I'm going to combine the sugar and the Italian seasoning with my pasta sauce. Now the reason for all the bowls is you're going to layer this. So I'm going to add the eggs to the cottage cheese. You're going to layer this, you're going to layer the other cheeses, the sauce, there. And then I'm going to add my sugar to this and the Italian seasoning. So that's why they're in separate pans. And when we put this together, you'll see what I mean. Okay, I'm all ready to assemble the lasagna. I've browned the meat, the onions, and the peppers. I've cooked the noodles al dente. That means they're not mushy. They're just, they still need to be cooked a little longer. They're all ready to go in. And this is the cottage cheese and egg and the tomato sauce and the spices I put in there and the sugar. So first I'm going to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom. And the cheese is waiting over on the counter. I have no room. Now my oven is at 325 and I will cover this with foil and then bake it for about an hour. And because I'm rather anal, I got a little get a little bit down here where this we don't want this end cheated. Okay, so now I'm going to put on some sauce. I'm going to do half and half. I, we'll see. Maybe I'll do threesies. There. Now I'm going to put on some of my cottage cheese mix. Remember that was cottage cheese and egg. I'm going to put on some meat. And I'm going to go for three layers here. There. Now I'll put on some of the cheese. Here's some Parmesan. Now I want to end with cheese too, the, the mozzarella and the Parmesan. And we'll put on some mozzarella. And then I'm going to finish the process. Just keep layering. There we go. Let me get, you go, let me get this done. Okay, I triple layered, but I had to push down the noodles each time because you can see I'm at the limit of my pan. This is a 9 by 13 that I also sprayed. Now, now that I'm done, I did use only a pound of the mozzarella, but now that I'm done, you need to put aluminum foil on top of this tightly. I can see the mozzarella sticking already, so I sprayed my aluminum foil with Pam. All set for the oven, 325 degrees for an hour. Look at this lovely lasagna. Now I forgot to tell you that when you bake in glass, 
it takes a little longer. So I had to bake this a little longer than the hour. But this looks so good. And I put a cookie sheet under it toward the end because it was starting to bubble over. Let me get a piece on a plate and I'll show you what I mean. Here we are, a beautiful piece of lasagna. Martin's been smelling it cooked with a little bit of bread and a salad. And it makes such a nice big batch. I had to take a piece out first because uh, it's kind of messy getting that first one out. But this is so beautiful. It smells so good. And it's so easy. Give this one a try during the holidays when you're sick of turkey or ham or whatever. Church Lady Diane's Lasagna. Until next time, bye-bye.